Warning. It is important that prior to performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any HAL product that the person performing the work has both read and firmly understands the parts and service manual as well as the product operator's manual, including the detailed safety instructions that accompanied this vehicle. If there is anything that is unclear or that you don't understand, do not attempt to operate the vehicle or perform any of the service or maintenance tasks called out in this video. Quarantine the area, lock out and tag out the vehicle, walk away, and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It's also important to make sure you're wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru here at Highland Environmental in beautiful Fort Payne, Alabama. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. Today we're going to show you how to operate the latest feature from our Heil Environmental Engineering Team. The Command SST now has the option to include the Heil Autonomous Lift Option Controls, or HALO for short allowing you to extend the arm, grab, lift, dump, return the residential cart, and return the lift arm home with one push of a button. These game-changing halo controls can greatly increase operator safety, route productivity, reduce driver training cost, decrease maintenance and operating cost, and lower the total cost of collection for your Command SST automated side loader. To learn more about the halo controls, visit www.hile.com. Your halo controls are available with an optional heads-up display and foot switch controls, but let's first focus on the halo equipped joystick. To enable the halo controls, simply press the autonomous lift push button on your console panel. The light will be illuminated green when it's on. Now your joystick has the ability to complete a full dump cycle with one press of the button. In this case, that's the red push button. Note, other than the orange push button that houses the can shake feature, and the grabber open black push button, the other non-semi-autonomous functions on the joystick will be disabled while the autonomous lift function is enabled. If you have the optional foot switch controls, then the autonomous lift push button will enable you to complete the entire dump cycle by pressing and holding the left foot switch, all with your hands on the steering wheel. If you encounter any stubborn refuse, then simply press and hold the right foot switch to enable the can shake feature. And if you have the optional heads-up display, then you can keep your eyes forward, focused on your surrounding environment. Your outside cab controls also have the ability to use the semi-autonomous functions that are housed in the joystick. In order to enable these controls, the coordinated mode button must be enabled, the autonomous lift button must be enabled, and the outside control switch bank enable button must be enabled. When enabled, you will have three buttons eliminated in yellow. The OUT push button is your HALO function that allows you to complete a full dump cycle. The CAN SHAKE push button allows you to perform three shakes of the cart while it is in the dump position. The RELEASE push button is available if you need to retract the arm without completing a full cycle. Note, when the outside control panel is enabled, all inside controls will be disabled. Remember to disable the outside control panel before returning to your regular in-cab controls. Before we cover what you'll need to do to complete a stop, let me tell you about another key feature that comes standard on the HALO controls. On your control panel, there is a push button labeled Pick Place. This feature allows the system sensors to detect where the cart was picked from and place it back where it was found. This Pick Place feature can only be used with the autonomous lift function enabled and is only available with the HALO control package. Now that you know what each feature does, let's go over the steps that you'll need to know while on route. Warning. Be sure the area around the cart is clear before operating the lift arm. Make sure there is adequate overhead clearance before you raise the cart. Contact of the unit with overhead electrical lines is dangerous. Serious injury or death may occur. Remember to observe all danger and warning hazard alerts. To begin, move the unit to a position that is best to load refuse with the Command SST lift arm. Use the newly designed container grid lines on your monitor or if equipped, the heads-up display to help line up the grabber path with the cart. If equipped, make sure the hopper cover is open. You can damage the unit if you try to dump a cart when the hopper cover is closed. Pull the red system power switch up and push the pump button. Turn on the coordinated lift mode using the push button on the control panel. 
Note, if coordinated lift mode is not enabled, all joystick functions, including the joystick push buttons, will be disabled. Enable the autonomous lift and pick place push buttons. Ensure that your foot is on the service brake while in gear and the engine RPMs are at or below 900. After checking that the area around the cart is still clear, press and hold the red push button on the joystick, or if equipped, the left foot switch to enable the halo controls to complete a full dump cycle. If you have any stubborn refuse that won't come out while in the dump position, then you can use the orange push button on the joystick, or if equipped, the right foot switch to initiate up to three can shakes. You can release the button at any point to stop the can shake. If more than three are needed, just press and hold the button again to initiate another sequence of can shakes. When the refuse has finished falling into the hopper, push the red push button on the joystick or the optional left foot switch to complete the full halo cycle and return the lift arm back to the work position. If you're traveling to the disposal site or going to be in transit between your next stops, press the stow position push button on the control panel to fully stow the lift arm. These halo controls feature advanced sensor detection technology that require calibration from time to time. This is a standalone calibration that can be performed without going through the normal arm calibration, but should only be done if your arm is performing correctly. We recommend you perform the full calibration process, so be sure to view our Service Shack episode on how to operate and calibrate the Command SST automated side loader. Important. Calibration mode is useful when recalibrating your unit and replacing hydraulic components, but should only be used by authorized service personnel. Before beginning any calibration process, ensure that the area is clear of all unnecessary personnel, the tires are chopped, and your workspace is quarantined. After calibration of the arm has been completed, use three points of contact to climb into the cab of the truck. Turn off the engine, ensure that the parking brake is applied, and turn the key switch to the own position. Then make sure that the coordinated mode push button control is off. The light will be eliminated solid blue when the controls are off. Use the Heil Insight Diagnostic Display to navigate to the unit calibration screen and follow the displayed instructions. If you need the passcode to access the screen, contact Heil Technical Services at 866-310-4345. Now you can exit the cab using three points of contact and enable the manual side push button control panel to begin the calibration process. Using a thick rag that you can't see light through, place it over the sensor box, completely covering the opening. You can use another similar object, just be sure that all light is blocked out from the sensor. Press OK on the manual push button controls to confirm and then the next screen you will see is the home screen. This means you have completed the calibration. That's it. Now you know how to operate and calibrate the Heil Autonomous Lift Option controls on a Command SST. If you still have any questions, contact Heil Technical Services at 866-310-4345. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can. So be safe out there, and we'll see you next time here at the Service Shack.